Good morning, Mass Mom staff and students. Happy Friday. Welcome to this B Day Friday. This is Mr. Lon with your morning announcements. All right, reminder from Mr. Jacobs that today is the day for summer job signups. All right, build your resume, grow your professional network, and most importantly, not most importantly, but importantly, make some money. Signups will take place today in the electrical classroom from 9 a.m. to 2.30. You must have a copy of your Social Security card and school ID to qualify and a resume. If you are in need of a resume, we will assist you for every dollar you make this summer. Please remember the teachers who are giving you the skills and save some money to buy them lunch, too. All right. Um, students, you don't literally have to do that. I'm just going to point that out. That's Mr. Jacobs being funny. But, you know, you can if you want, right? Uh, upcoming events next week, Keystone Spirit Week. Yes, it is. And Keystone Exam Week, the week there following, the week of the 13th. And students, as you know, our number one priority as educators in Mass Bomb is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. That means reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have concerns or problems because <coughs> we are here to support you. All right. Keystones are coming. Did you know? That Keystone exam is coming. There's a famous song about the Keystone exam. I can't remember who performed it. It was a very famous song. There was a line that went, that Keystone is coming. All right. Mass Bomb Builders students, you know this because we talk about it and because quite literally, 11th and 12th grade in particular, this is your work. We have grown over 40 points in the green, in the positive direction, northward, biology, algebra, and literature. So we have our Keystone kickoff week. What do we have Monday? It's pajama day. Everybody come in your pajamas. Tastefully, uh, tastefully worn, tastefully um, uh, tailored pajamas, uh, because you're going to rest well before the Keystone exams. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about Pajama Day on Monday because you're wearing pajamas on Monday. Yes! All right. SSC students is open daily. It is open before school. It is open during all lunch periods. All right, we got air hockey up there. We have video games. I was playing the X-Men video game, which I suppose I remember playing back in the time. Um, and I wasn't that good at it. I couldn't do, I was trying to do Wolverine's mutant move, but I couldn't figure out. I didn't know how it worked because it only works sometimes. Anyway, that's a pretty fun game. <clears throat> Reminds me of a Sega Genesis game that is near and dear to my heart called Streets of Rage 2. None of you have ever heard of that. You're too young. All right. Fitness club is open today, students. All right. Reminder that you can use your PBIS points for really cool things. That's how you earn them right there. Um, I was told by Mr. Zwalak and Ms. Foster that we have our Culture Fest surplus, Culture Fest shirt surplus on sale in the SSC available for 1,000 PBIS points. That's not a bad deal. All right. Reminder about these fine items right there and Kuth and Chromebook repairs and social media. All right. We have two pages of shout outs. First, Miss Walker would like to shout out Ishmael Caraballo. While watching the first episode of Roots, asked, are Kunta Kinte and his parents Muslim? I heard them praise a lot. Thank you, Ishmael, for recalling something you learned during quarter one and applying it to an assignment. Quarter four. You made me extremely proud today. All right. Good job, Ishmael, and good job, Miss Walker, tying those pieces of historical context in, tying pieces of media in, synthesis, if you will. All right. And this one right here the girls' flag football team ending on a high note, if you will. For Mr. Constance, he would like to shout out Liara Lee, Santiago, Alicia Peralta, Mallory Johnson, Sarah Morell, and Paige Rivera-Komaleski. 
Zakia Williams and Jordan Ford take a bail. Yes, you girls left me speechless after that two-minute full field drive that resulted in Lee coming down the field with the pass from Peralta with no time left, then completing the one-point conversion pass to seal the deal. You can hear my dog going crazy in the background, right? Because she's really excited about flag football. The first win in mass bomb flag football history. And that's something as years and years past, no one can ever take away from you. Love the way you girls fought, battled, and made play after play on that last drive. Captains Lee Santiago and Alicia Peralta led the way, and you girls, all underclassmen, followed. Truly a team win. I'm so proud of these young ladies, the way they competed and didn't let trash talking Edison. Hmm. Get under their skin, <clears throat> showing tremendous composure. The girls had a tough game last time out against a very good team, lost 18 to nothing. But instead of sulking, Lee and Alicia did what real captains do, led by example, getting more girls to attend practice, working relentlessly on wristband plays. So happy to see their hard work pay off. I feel we are building that successful culture brick by brick, and more importantly, instilling values. We want in these student athletes. All right. Girls and Coach Constance, the Mass Bomb community salutes you and applauds you. My dog Joy salutes you and applauds you. Great job, everyone. And we're going to end on a high note with our school vision because we have our girls building a sport that has never existed before at Mass Bomb flag football team they are builders and they build the future it's friday have a great friday